Welcome to Lisa's Art Room. Today we're going to be working on an essential stencils project. We're going to be do doing some transfers. Y'all come in and say hi. Let me know you're here. We are live on Facebook. If you see the little red button at the top left corner there. If not, it's a replay. Let me get you guys pulled up so I can see the chat as soon as it loads. good all right I'm gonna give you guys just a second to get someone on here before I talk too much about it but we're gonna be doing an essential stencils project we are going to be doing some rub on transfers and we're going to be doing a shaker card and this shaker card could be used for um, just a card to give somebody or it could be used for um, something in a junk journal hey Don so, oh my, I was reaching for something now. I forgot what it was. Don't you hate when you do that? I literally just thought of something I needed to reach for. Mm, I don't know. It'll come to me in a minute. Anyway, <laughs> so we're going to be working on that. And we're going to be working with these beautiful nutcrackers. Um, rub on transfers so we're doing a little Christmas in July thing all right I think that we're good volume should be good yeah I'm gonna go ahead I guess and pull the camera up top I know it's Sunday so I'm not super busy usually on Sundays but I'll go ahead and get started on this okay with my bouncing around and I should put something there to see what can I put there real quick so I can see from the right direction yep that's good and let's make sure we're straight I need my lines oops I got off out of focus now come on get it back in focus nope there it goes and that looks straight on the bottom. All right, I think we are good. So we're gonna be doing some shaker cards. I've done them before, but you know, it's been a while. So I'm gonna do some more. Honestly, if you're like me, you need refresher courses because I always forget how to do them and have to remind myself. But for this, you're gonna need some sort of a image for the base of your shaker card. In this case, we're using these transfers because they're honestly perfect. And you're going to need some card stock. I am going to use, I think I'm going to use this blue. This is some card stock I got from, this one's Hobby Lobby. I also get it from Michael's. I think this one's the Hobby Lobby. That blue doesn't look right enough I bet this is the Michaels one I have a bunch of them so let's see blues I'll bet you I'll tell you the wrong one and it won't look the same let's see I think it's, it might be this one does it look like that blue no that looks too gray doesn't it that would be a nice one too though so sometimes I buy this brand from Michaels, which is the Recollections. Both are fine. They both work fine. I haven't had any issues with either one. I'm not sure which blue that is. It might be the, the Hobby Lobby one. I've got like six blues up here, so it's hard to say for sure. It's either that or, oh, you know what? I bet it's this one. Bet it is this one, which is called Sail Away. I think I got it for my ocean journal. Yes. No. See, it's still too light. It's got to be the the paper studio, I guess. <laughs> too many blues, guys. I can't believe how many blues I have. Anyway, 
So I think I'm going to use this one because I thought that um, you might still be able to see the snowflakes on it. If I do the white, I'm not sure how well they'll show up. They're kind of gray, so they might show up okay on the white. But I thought the blue might look good. I, was, I almost would like maybe darker, but I don't want to go that dark, you know? supposed to be holiday like so I don't know one half dozen the other guys you're gonna need some sort of a foam tape I don't have any thin foam tape but I have, do have this one I've been using um, you can get this one from just about anywhere but it's like a sixteenth of an inch deep I think yeah it looks like about a sixteenth of an inch deep so it's not real deep um, and I have to cut it because I need it th thinner. So I back it onto some basic, it's basically like a sticker sheet paper. It's actually a chalk or chair paper, but it's their, um, transfer backing paper because I used to do some stuff with them. So it works perfectly, but also if you have like a, a used sticker sheet backing, you could use that. Um, and I just stick the roll on here. You know, I just roll it out so that it's stuck on there. Um, because it won't really stick to this permanently because it's got that coating. And then I just cut them out with a X-Acto knife or a rotary cutter. Either will work. Um, and the strips. And these strips are like maybe an eighth of an inch. I try to get, like, a, they're, honestly, they're like a half a centimeter. But... An eighth of an inch, half a centimeter, some, somewhere around there is fine. You just want them thin enough that they'll go around corners and stuff. So so right now they're protected on both sides. Because on this roll, they're only protected on the top side. And you can't really work with it if one side isn't as easily. Because it just, I don't know, it's a pain for me for the whole thing to be, un, you know, sticky to work with. So I do this. It works fine. You're going to need some sort of shaker bits. Um, I have lots of different ones. But your shaker bits cannot be any thicker than your backing foam. You can also use that fun foam stuff and put double adhesive tape on the sides of it. Okay, to stick it. I think the strips are easier. I'm going to buy some probably when I run out of this, which is soon. Um, and just, you can buy them that are already in the size strips you need. But you don't want your stuff that you put in there to be any thicker than that, or it won't move. Okay. So, find little bits. These little, like, um, I, get, I think they're like polymer clay kind of little, little bits. They're pretty thin. They're like really, really thin. I can't see that. They're very thin. They come in all kinds of cute things. I get these at Hobby Lobby. I put them in this container. They didn't come in this container. Let me see. I probably have the little... That's beads. They're just at round. Nope, I don't have the label. But I'm pretty sure I got them at Hobby Lobby. Uh, it, might, it might be the jewelry shop. Thing. Oh, yeah. Clay Mini Peppermint. So that was the, the jewelry shop one. Um, sequins are nice. Flat sequins of some sort. You can use snows, but they tend to get staticky and stick to the acetate. So not ideal. Um, a nonstick glitter is better. You can use little gold thread bits. This is from some sort of ribbon I had. And I just cut it into little teeny tiny bits. It's like a, it was a, I don't know what ribbon it was. I don't remember now. But some sort of ribbon, I just pulled it out. These are like little um, confetti kind of things. They're snowflakes. These didn't work because, do you see how staticky they are? Do you see how they're stuck to the glass? This is like a little kit I bought. I was like, oh, that'll be great. But no, 
it's too staticky and it doesn't really work well. So I do not suggest that one. Um, I have used crushed shells in like my um, ones that I use with ocean themes. That works nice. Crush, it's like crushed seashells. So lots of different bits. I like the little glass beads. These are really tiny. They're called um, check glass beads. They are 11 slash zero size and they're seed beads. They're nice because they're, they're noisy. We're doing a shaker card, Deborah. So they're, they're nice and noisy and I like that. So I do like the glass beads and they're real, real tiny. So things like that, just make sure it's small enough to fit. I don't know why that's not going back in there. It went in there a minute ago. Was it the other direction? <laughs> I have no idea. Now it's not going to fit. All right. I see. Okay. I'm just going to force you in there. Hey, Dorothy. All right. So, cardstock, adhesive. You're going to need double-sided tape for adhering your acetate. So some sort of a double-sided tape. I've been using this one from scrapbook.com. I have the, I think one is a one-eighth and one is a quarter. Either usually works fine. Um, I don't think I have any. Yeah. You can use these little foam bits for raise, keeping areas that um, need a little extra. They work good too. I don't know if I have thicker ones in white. I might. Because they come in different heights. We'll see. All right, what else? Anything else? Um, scissors, of course, something to cut with, and a sheet of acetate. So the acetate I have today is from my packaging from my canvases that I get at, like, um, Michael's. You know, the, the bulk value pack canvases, I guess. They usually have a sheet of acetate on the front piece. So that's what this is from, but just, just some sort of acetate. It could be from packaging. You could buy it. I mean, you know, you can get it just about anywhere. I like the th little bit thicker acetate for this. You can use just thin that you get from like um, your packaging and stuff. You can use that type of an acetate. It's just, it's not quite as sturdy. So I tend to, to like the a little bit thicker acetate. But you don't want it too stiff because then I think it's harder to work with. But anyway, so we've got a piece of that, which hopefully isn't too scratched up because I've had it for a while. All right, so let's get started, guys. I think that's it. I've, I'm sure there's other things we'll come into as I'm going, but. We're going to pick out one. Um, these would be super cute, but I'm going to do one a little bit bigger. Uh, I've got these two would work. I'm trying to keep it journal size in case I want to use it in my Christmas journal this year. I may just give it away as a card or something. I don't know. I haven't decided what I will do with mine. So you've got a couple of choices. You also have a round one on the second page. But any of these are fine. I, I've i done some round ones before. I think I'm going to go with this one. Um, it's not quite as wide as this one. It's a little bit narrower. Let's see. I'll tell you exactly. This one is three and a quarter. This one is three and a half. Okay. And then height-wise, this is about five and a half, and this one is about five and a half, so about the same. So we're going to go with those. You can even use, you don't have to use the globe-shaped ones, guys. You, you can totally just use a regular one, and it will be pretty, too. You don't you don't have to have that. I'm probably going to use some of these snowflakes, too. Oh, I didn't see. See, these are darker blue. These are more gray. Okay. Interesting. I didn't catch that. All right, so we have to go ahead and get our transfer cut out so that we can figure out our size and everything for our acetate. Where can I put this? You can also use watercolor paper, guys, but um, just make sure you use the smooth side. I think the transfer is a little harder to get on the, the rougher size of the watercolor paper. 
So I'm going to go with this one. So I'm just going to cut it out so I can work with it. I'm half tempted to leave it on there while I trace it. So I want to trace this so that I know how big everything needs to be. I think I'm just going to trace it on some tracing paper first. You can trace it exactly onto your acetate and then just wipe off the marker with some alcohol. Um, that would work too. But I'm going to need, I think, the design for... I'm trying to remember how I do this, guys. I haven't done one in like a year. We'll figure it out as we go. But we're going to trace it on some tracing paper. This is just some. I got it. I got, actually got this at Jerry's Autorama. Is that piece big enough? Hmm, let me see. Let's see if I've got a piece that's big enough already. Uh, yeah, that's not bad. I think I can work with that. So we don't waste a whole sheet. So I'm just going to trace out the design, if I can get it to hold still for me, I think I'll tape it. I'll never hold it still while I'm tracing it. I probably should have done this ahead of time, but you know, sometimes that doesn't happen. This is a really light tack tape, I probably could have just used my blue tape. I'm going to just use this. All right. Oops. This is not even. Lay flat. All right. I'm going to use my little Sharpie. And try to trace a good image. Oops. I taped my table. I can't move it. Uh, I need to move it. I can't. I can't work like that, guys. Here. Let's get there. All right. So... I'm going to try to have a relatively steady hand. I could probably use a ruler on part of that. Where is my little flexible ruler? There it is. I love this little flexible ruler. I found this at Hobby Lobby the other day. It's awesome because I can see the numbers so well. So much better than my um, other ruler. I got tape in my way. Oh, I also have a hair. Did I get it? I think I got it. I'm just going to do these straight sides because it'll just be a little bit less. Trying to do a, a straight is even harder than trying to do this curve. Oh, the hair is still there. <laughs> I'm shedding. My marker is on its last leg, I think. I am trying to be a perfectionist on this as best I can. Now I am going to cut this base out and attach it separately because I want it to show on the front of my card but I want the um, I want the I'm laughing because this is I'm shaky because it's, I don't know, it's Sunday and I'm always shaky on my Sunday afternoons. I think because I am a late nighter and I just got up basically. So I can't draw a straight line. But I'm going to put the base on the top. So we need the shape of the base so that we know where to put it. So I just need the outline. I don't need anything else. Don't do it when your blood sugar is low. <laughs> uh, it doesn't have to be absolutely perfect, but I'm going to try to get somewhat close. All right, there we go. So we just need the outline. I'm not even kidding. I'm my my hands are like, I had, I had my usual really bad for me breakfast, which is a Red Bull and a Rice Krispie Treat. I do handmade, homemade Rice Krispie Treats, not the store bought ones, but nonetheless, it's all sugar. <laughs> not the best thing in the world. I know it's bad, but it's what I like, so. 
I can't eat eggs because I have developed an egg allergy. Uh, don't get me wrong, I, I love me some eggs and bacon, but I can eat bacon still as long as it's nitrate free. I have a lot of allergies nowadays. So we're just cutting that out. Get this, put it over here for the time being. All right, so we've got our little tracer sheet. I'm just gonna cut that piece off. It really doesn't help. I know, I need some protein. You're right. I'm a bad girl, I know. Okay, we're gonna do this one. I think, now you could totally make it this shape, okay? As long as you stay outside your edge. If you want it to look this shape, that's fine. I'm gonna do a square because honestly it's easier and it will give me room to put the snowflakes and stuff and maybe a saying. So I'm doing mine square. You're allergic to egg whites. I don't know what there is about the egg that I'm allergic to. It didn't happen until about, oh, it's been 10 years now, but later in life. Um, but anytime I eat eggs, I just get crazy, crazy cramping. And um, like, I think I'm gonna die. So <laughs> I'm just like, okay. I talked to my doctor. She's like, it sounds like you're developing an egg allergy. You probably should stay away from them. I'm like, oh, great, wonderful doesn't bother me in cakes though. I can eat an egg in a cake and I'm fine, but not a cooked egg or a boiled egg or anything like that. So I don't know what it is. It's something about the egg. Something weird. Anyway, so I gotta figure out what size I want it to be. Okay, because like I said, I'm gonna go square. I want room to put a couple of snowflakes, but I don't wanna go so wide I can't fit it in a journal, at least for me. Um. I would like to keep it around four and a half, I think, because for most of my journals, that's about what my pocket size tends to be. So I think if I go four and a half, I'm just looking at my grid. I think if I go four and a half, let's see, I can fit two, three, four and a half. So that would be, where's my ruler? That would be about there. And then that, I could put a snowflake maybe here, here. Are there really small ones on this page? Oh, there are some smaller ones. Okay, good. That'll give me room. All right, and then I want to leave a little room at the top. I'm going to put a saying up there, I think. Some sort of a, some sort of words. You've become the same way with eggs? What is that? It's so frustrating. I, I love deviled eggs. I mean, love. It was like a favorite food. And now I can't have them. I'm so sad. Same thing happened with peanuts like 10 years ago. So my body went wacko 10 years ago and now I'm allergic to everything. <laughs> Don't know why. All right, so we're gonna cut this at four and a half and um, two of them. The bottom one doesn't have to be blue. It could be white, but I'm just gonna do them both blue. So I'm trying to find my cutter. I'm gonna use my guillotine because my other cutter is ripping everything until I find my blades. I bought blades. I don't know where they are. They're somewhere. I do not know where. Can I get two out of this? I can get two this way. All right, so four and a half. Should be fine, I think. My cat's crying. I can hear him out in the hallway. He thinks he wants food, but every time I give him food, he's not eating it. I don't know what's up with him. He only eats a few bites and then he goes away. And it could just be age. He's, he's getting older. I think he's like 13 now. I don't know. Either that or he's gotten bored with food again because he does that too. I'll feed him the food and then he gets bored with it and he doesn't want it and I have to get something new. Oh, I didn't cut the other side. Well, let's figure out the height anyway. I slacked off and didn't do that part. All right, so four and a half that way. Let's do, I want room for some sort of saying. The bottom, I'm not gonna put anything, I don't think. So what size is that? Where's my ruler? Can y'all hear him? He's very loud. Seven, no, that's too much. We'll do six and a half. 
Let's do six and a half. I could go seven. I don't think I need to. We'll do six and a half. I think that'll work. I hope. <laughs> I hope. I didn't try one out. I usually, I'm moving everything. I usually try one out beforehand, but I did not today. I'm going to try to cut these at the same time. I'm going to say six and a half. Thereabouts. All right, so two pieces. And then we need to trace our image on the bottom just so we know where to put things. And we need to um, cut out the shape on this one, but only because we're doing the base on top, only up to that point where the, where the bottom is. Now I'm going to stay inside a fraction, like six, maybe a sixteenth of an inch inside this mark so that I come inside this just a little bit. I don't really want to come inside too much right there. I kind of want that almost exact, but I'm trying to not let too much of the white or the blue in this case show. So we're going to come inside it just, just a little. So first thing I'm going to do is put my image on this piece so that I know where everything goes. And to do that, I'm just going to use a chalk pencil. So I'm just going to, I don't think these are different on I assume it's the same on either side. Is it identical? Yes. Okay, good. It's the same on both sides, so either side is fine. I'm going to use a chalk pencil and should I use? White's never going to show. Let's use maybe a dark blue. I'm trying to find a chalk pencil. Oh no. What do I got here? This is blue. These are just pastel chalk pencils, but um, it'll work like graphite paper. You could also use graphite paper, guys. I just, I don't know, I like using my chalk pencil. So I don't really need that bottom part, honestly, but I might put it just so I can center it. It'll just help me center everything. Because this part I'm not going to trace. Hopefully I don't forget and stick it there. I won't forget. Hey, Angela. Right, so I'm just rubbing that on there so I can make a light tracing. I don't think I need that, but we'll go ahead and put it. I'll need it later, so we'll go ahead and do it because I'll need it in a minute. All right, that should be good enough. So then I'm going to center this as best we can. Can I get a center line? Yeah, if I put it in between the two there, I can kind of get the center line there. So I can try and center it. So I want it down toward the bottom more because, like I said, I'm going to put something at the top. I don't want to go too far down because I want it to be sturdy. Does that look about centered? Mm, it's pretty close. All right, where's my tape? Did I turn that over? Yeah. Make sure I got my chalk on the bottom or nothing will happen. All right. And we need a stylus. You could use a pencil too, but I'm going to use a stylus if I can find it. There it is. A stylus is the one with the little ball on the end. Not everybody knows. I know I, I say words and then I'm like, now I'm doing it right on the line, but I'm going to cut inside well, for this one, it doesn't matter. This one goes right on the line. But for the other one, I need, need to remember to cut inside the line. That's important. So we have to do this twice. If you have something that will work with one of, if you have die cuts or something, and you can cut out a shape that works for you, and maybe if you're doing just the, the nutcracker and not the globe, you can totally use a, a die cut and do that. It is easier. And trying to hand cut these shapes, but yeah, we don't all have those. I just got mine after many, many years of crafting. Did I get it all? I don't remember if I got this. And then for this one, I'm just gonna I'm gonna do it, but I don't think I need it for anything, honestly, other than maybe centering it. Alright. 
Let's see if it shows. Where's my thing? This tape is from scrapbook.com too. Yep, there we are. Okay. So this is where my base shape goes, this part. All right, but we don't want this part. So we have to cut that off. And then I'm gonna go ahead and do them both because I wanna make sure that it lines up. So I'm gonna cut this out. Oops, I should have left the tape on there. I probably should have done this one first. Then I could have um, made sure I got them in the same spot. But we'll just wing it. If you do your top one first, you can kind of just trace the shape out with the top one so that you know it's in the same spot, which might be smarter, honestly. But I'm gonna, we're just gonna go for it. If it's off, I'll fix that one. Do you know what I'm saying? So for this one, I'm gonna make the line on the line, but I'm gonna cut inside the line. just teeny 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 bit now remember we don't want the bottom cut out so don't trace it or you'll forget we just want to this part and hopefully we can match it as best as possible it's a little trickier when you put the base on like this I know that but it looks so cool it's worth it I think but if, if you're you know worried that you can't do that, then don't do one with the base. I get it all. Yes. Okay. So this is what we call our window for our acetate. Let's put this tape over here. So we're going to cut that piece out. Now you could do that with an exacto knife, or um, you could do it, you know. With with one of these I'm not really good at using those so I mean I'm okay but not, not really I'm gonna use just scissors guys so I'm just gonna cut a little mark in the middle to get my scissors started usually just a slot is okay but I like a bigger opening so I'm gonna just do a notch out a triangle then just remember to cut just inside that line okay so use my scissors let me see if I can zoom in I'm gonna try I know I'm really far out try to stay in I can't the problem is my iPad screen is different than my iPhone screen for what you guys see. All right, so like a sixteenth of an inch inside that. Um, the bottom one, I'm gonna go almost right on. I'm gonna go, oh, I'm still gonna go inside it. See if I can get this shape. <laughs> kind of not perfect, guys. It's okay, right? It's okay if it's not perfect. Tell yourself that, because otherwise you just stress out. And I'm still shaky, so. So about a sixteenth of an inch is all I'm staying in that side there. Hopefully I can get it kind of close. I'm not too crazy. It's just a card, right? <laughs> it helps if you can turn your card as you're squeezing your scissors tends to help you to get a straighter line like when you're fussy cutting I'm not sure how well it helps when your blood sugar is low but we're going to attempt that okay let's see how bad that is mm, it's a little bit a little wonky in some places but we'll try to clean it up a little bit not terrible I think it'll be okay all right so we have our little well that well 
is where this acetate's going to go. I'm going to cut my acetate a little bit smaller than the outside of the card because I want to be able to, to put glue or double stick tape or whatever. So I want this piece of acetate to have enough room for my um, double stick tape to stick it to this. So like, I don't know, a half an inch, quarter of an inch is usually ideal. It doesn't have to be straight. Um, I don't like to go all the way on the outside because I like to have some of the paper showing. I think it sticks a little bit better, um, personally. But you don't really absolutely have to. I'm just going to tape that so I can trace it out so I can do it. So I'm just going to use my um, Sharpie. And what ruler shall I use? Where's my clear big one? I don't want to mess up my new one with my Sharpie. So I'm just going to... That's like a, maybe a half an inch. I don't know. It's close. Just big enough for your, your tape. I think I need to... I got tape there. That's okay. I just, I know I need to go all the way there. This side is where it needs to be, so I'm not worried about that. And then this side, I'm just going to let a little bit of that card show. Honestly, don't have to go that far down, but we will. I'm just going to cut that out. It does help, honestly, guys, if you have a little bit of the Sharpie showing, because honestly, it's easier to see your, your acetate when you lay it on your table. Um... Do you know how many times I've lost my acetate trying to find it? Because I can't see it. And when you've got a little bit of a Sharpie line on there, you can see it, which is very handy. Now, you can cut this with scissors. You can cut it with um, X-Acto blade. Either will work. I'm just going to use scissors. I am going to leave a little of that Sharpie line just because I'll be able to see it. won't lose it. <laughs> Alright, so that's my acetate. This is my window. Okay. Um, I'm going to put transfer on this front. So I'm not going to put my acetate on just yet because there'll be a there'll be a little bump there and I don't want that bump there when I'm doing the um, decorating on that. I'm going to line these up and make sure I'm still in the right place. Hey, not too bad. Amazing. That's actually pretty good. All right. So I'm still in the right place. So if you're worried about that, guys, cut your front piece out first and then just stick them together so they're even and just trace that. You can totally do that. And then um, it'll just be easier and you won't have to do it twice. I don't know why I didn't do that first, honestly. I hope this cardstock's thick enough. Honestly, I think I would have liked a little bit thicker cardstock, but we're going to go with it. Because it's what I have. I don't have any thicker cardstock. Um, for whatever reason. I do not. So we're going to put the transfer in two places. So we're going to do this front. Um, you have to do it now because if you wait till after, you'll have all kinds of bumpy things under here. And you won't be able to get good pressure to put the design on, on there. Um, a sticker or something is fine. You can usually put a sticker on fine. But transfers you really have to be able to rub so you're going to need to go ahead and decorate that um i think i'm gonna flip this because then i'll have to erase that line it should be the same just gonna make sure yeah um so i am going to go ahead and decorate my front with my transfer base and anything else i want on there so i got to cut this transfer base out because we're going to put that on there Let's see if i can I'm going to try to get it right around that corner. I'm debating if I want to use an exacto. I, don't know. I think I can do it with scissors. I don't know. It's close. I'm going to... Mm, this one or the other one? Let's use this one. I'm a little worried I can't get around that corner. So, it's got that little corner on there. Am I still on camera? I think I am. That goes 
Oh, that's horrible. It's too wiggly. I hate these things. I really, really do. I tried to tighten it. It was moving. Okay. So I'm just going to go, I'm going right up on the edge because I have to get that around that corner. And past that, it's not a big deal. You can go just straight out. Okay. But I need that edge because I have to line it up. Actually, I'm not going to cut this side until I do this because it'll just be easier. You think I can stay on this line with this? Maybe. I am going to try. I feel like I'm not as shaky with this as I was with the um, pencil. I can feel where the groove is. I'm just going to come around that corner because I want that lip to be there too. Okay. And then we're just going to go straight out. All right. Let's make sure it's separated. Did it work? Almost. Not quite. Let go. Let go of my transfer. Come on. There you go. There we go. Okay, so now we have a base. And we have our globe part. So our base goes on the front. And you want it to go just around that opening there. Now see, I'm going to have to open that up just a little bit more because I did stay out that sixteenth of an inch and that doesn't really work at the base part. So I will have to open that up a little bit more. Now I could just color it, honestly, if I wanted. I don't know. I do like having a little bit of a forgiveness there, but I'm debating, guys. Do I want to just try to make this match up to that? I think I do. I'm going to try to just kind of pull this out just a little bit so I don't have to color that spot in. Okay, that should be enough. And then we'll just should I use my blade? I'll use my blade, guys. No. No. I'll use my scissors. <laughs> I'm just, I'm not sure. We'll use my scissors. So, hopefully you could tell what I was talking about. It's just because I stayed in that sixteenth of an inch, but our base has to be exact. I'm just going to come around and match that, hopefully. Can I get this side? Ooh, that side's going to be harder. I can't cut that way. All right, I'll try it this way. <laughs> Turn. Sorry. I know I keep getting too close to me. Just kind of pulling it out there. All right, now let's see how that fits. If it's a little bit closer. That's close enough. I think I'm okay with that. Okay, do y'all see what I'm saying? I'm going to pull it up so you can see what I'm saying. Okay, we want it to match as close as we can to our outline there. All right. This is taking longer than I thought. So make sure it's clean. I think it should be. We're going to put the transfer on. So you don't want to touch your transfer part. You want to touch on the outside. That's why I left these little bits to hold on to. So pull it off so you can get the edge. And we're going to line that up. You get one shot at it, so hold it above. Look from overhead and drop it on there right where it needs to be because you can't do it again. Um, you can fill it in with paint or something if you really mess up, so don't freak out too much. I think that's straight. I'm trying to make sure I'm straight. All right, that should be about right. 
so I'll just give it a little bit of a push. I am going to use my handy dandy wooden transfer stick, which is a piece of wood I sanded. Um, but you can also use the transfer stick that comes with them. That's up to you. I like this. And we're going to rub this transfer on. Be careful with your edges that are literally right on the edge of the transfer because it will pop up on you. So just, just be super careful that you try not to get it to pop. What happens is if you catch that edge and it pops up, it'll put the it'll it'll pull the transfer off too soon. I mean you don't want to do that, so try to be careful. Just get that sealed down there real well. I haven't tried any of these yet. I'm, hopefully we're good. <laughs> I know one person said that she was having some issues, but I think it might have been the surface, honestly. You can't really put these on chalk paint, guys, because chalk paint has a powdery coating, and it's never going to stick unless you seal that. So we're just going to pop up an edge, and we're going to look through it and make sure that it is... I'll go this direction. Make sure that it is sticking... So it should be clear. If it's not clear, lay it back down. Looks good so far. I'm just kind of looking through as I go. You can also rub as you go and, and do this. But as long as you rubbed it down, it shouldn't be necessary. There, perfect. And here everything came off. Okay, so now we have a base. And that's going to go like this. All right. Does that make sense why I'm putting this on the front? Because you won't see it underneath. All right, so we're also going to put some snowflakes, I think. I'm going to do the snowflakes because of transfers. So we have any transfers you got to do first. So I'm going to pick some that will fit. I'm going to leave a little bit of room for saying I don't know what I'm going to put there. I have a few stickers that I grabbed out of my stash. You could also stencil a word there if you wanted to. Um, if you have something that works. I think I'll go with this one. I just want a few. I might zoom back out, guys. Am I staying? I hope I'm staying in camera. So we'll go like maybe one there. Maybe this little teeny tiny one. Anywhere you can fit them. I mean, where's that other sheet? Let me see what's on there. I think they're bigger. Uh, are they bigger? Yeah, they're all bigger. A little bit larger. And I could put one there as long as... I thought it was going to stay lower, but I guess it didn't. Um, as long, I don't know if I want any on the bottom. Maybe it would be okay, but then I feel like I'd need something right there. Hmm. I think I'm just going to put them on the top. Just a couple. So maybe one there, one there. I'm trying to see if I can put a big one. Not this sheet. Let's go back to the other sheet. I think I like the blue ones. They're pretty. Maybe... Will that fit? I think this one in the middle here will fit. I was looking at this one, but I think that's the same. Let's try that one. And remember, don't go so close you don't have something to hold on to. Did I get it? Almost. Okay. Let's see if that'll fit. I think I can stick it over here. And we'll put these just kind of catty corner. We'll see how that looks. If it doesn't look good, I might add more. But Oh, this is an essential stencils transfer to, to um, Tamara. It is 
from Essential Stencil. If you look in my description, there's a link, and you can use my code ARTROOM to get 10% off. If I can find my little sticker thingy. There it is. I know I'm not talking about stuff enough. Um, but it's from Essential Stencil. The link's in my description. And they have great stencils and great rub-on transfers. Brushes and some other things. Lots of good stuff. You are very welcome. So we're going to put this one, I think, here. This shows up enough. And then this one, I think, up here. Yeah. Right there. Like I said, I'm up, I think I'm going to put a saying there. And then this one. I'm not rubbing them in yet. I'm just going to go ahead and stick them. Like maybe here. Should I put more? I feel like it needs more. Maybe one here. I don't know. It feels off if I put one there. Why is that? Why does it feel off? I don't know. I do not know. Let me see. I have a couple smaller ones. Uh, you could also put a half one if you really wanted. Maybe I'll do that. I'll put a half one there because I think it will just work better. Um, so I'm just going to grab this one on the edge here. And we're just going to put a half of one there. Now, it's going to stick to whatever's underneath there unless I cut it. So I might cut it beforehand. So I'm just going to kind of debating where I want it to hit. I think about there. I don't want it to stick to my table, so I am going to go ahead and try to just cut it right along there. I could throw a piece of paper or something under there also, but it's sometimes easier just to cut it, guys. I know, usually it's threes, right? But it's just, it wasn't feeling right. So I'm going to do a half. <laughs> We're going to do three and a half. There. Because I'm also going to have the saying there, too. And I could put, you know, one there to make it five, but then I feel, I feel like no matter what I do, it, it looks off to me. I don't know. We'll go with this. So we have three and a half. All right, so let's rub those on. Y'all see me using this thing, it's because I don't have fingernails. Because <laughs> I'm a nail biter. I know it's bad, but I've been doing it for 50 years, it's not gonna stop. <laughs> that looks right. Good. <laughs> Thank you. I like making shakers, guys. They take time. They are tedious. But they're so cool. They're just so cool. And I just, I really like them. I could use that half some more, too, if I wanted the other half. If I wanted to make it five. We'll see where my word goes. I don't know. Maybe I could put it up there. What am I going to use for a word? <laughs> I have some stickers. I mean, if I looked through my stencils, I'm sure I have a stencil too, but I don't know. But I could also just save this and use it somewhere else later. Yeah, I'll just save it. I'll use it somewhere at some point. All right, so I've got that. And then like I said, I'm gonna put a sticker there, I think. I have. I pulled out my Christmas stuff. I don't have my Christmas stuff out, guys. So I had some labels I had made last year. Winter Wonderland, White Christmas, Let It Snow, 
take time to chase snowflakes. I was trying to figure out something that would work with a nutcracker. I don't have anything that says nutcracker. Snow place like home. Believe in the magic of Christmas is kind of cool. That might be good. It's a little on the small side, but I think it's all right. Do I want to use my scissors? I'll never get it straight, guys. This isn't a sticker, but I said I had stickers. I do have stickers, but I kind of might use that. I also have these. These are also from a set I bought. Don't ask me what one because now I don't remember. I might have it written down. Let's see. It could possibly be either Winter Wonderland or Winter um, Woodland Lullaby Stationery Etsy. Maybe even Yummy Christmas. I have had a feeling it was one of hers is where I got that last year. I'd have to look at my old video and see because I don't remember now. I also have Merry Christmas. These are just things I've found either from tags or from magazines. Some of them are. But then I had this set of stickers from P13. Um, winter, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays. Eh. I don't really see anything. I also had these Tim Holtz ones. I'm not crazy about the, the black and white on this, though. So I think I'm going to go with this one. And I'm just going to glue it on there. Let's go with that. I just got to try and get it somewhat square. Where'd it go? Believe in the magic? Is that what I said? I think that's what I said. <laughs> I think. All right, so let's just cut this out. I'm trying to do it kind of straight. I should ink it too. Of course, I don't even have my ink sitting here because I moved everything. So I could do this project. But we'll make it work. I don't think it's too long. I think it's okay. I don't remember if these labels were a freebie of mine or if it was in a set of mine. I have, it might have been a freebie. I'll let y'all know. I'll have to look. Where's my ink? Oh, I might have an ink somewhere around here. Uh, there it is. We'll just do brown because the base is brown. I think that brown would be okay. I just wanted to ink it. Everything I create looks awesome. Oh, thank you, Adela. I appreciate that. And it doesn't have to have a saying, guys. If y'all don't like sayings, and some people don't like sayings on stuff, don't put a saying. It doesn't really matter. But I like it, so we're going to stick it on there. Okay, we're just going to glue that on because it'll be easier to do it now versus later. always easier to decorate the front of these I think before you stick it together because the foam padding and stuff just kind of gets in the way. Ooh, we're going to pretend I'm not shaking this much. Okay, get on there. Try to get it straight. There. That'll be cute. Okay, so we got to get our acetate on now. Don't forget your acetate. I've done it no fun. So we're just going to put some double stick tape on the edges to stick it to this. I didn't put the lid back on this. I'm going to regret that. Um, I'm just going to mark I think where I want my tape because it's honestly probably going to be easier. I'll do it on the other side but I'm just going to kind of lightly mark about where I want it. It doesn't really have to be everywhere because it's just got to stick. 
The foam side will have to be everywhere because that's the part that keeps all the stuff in. This side is just sticking it to this card. So honestly, you could pretty much put it anywhere, but I don't want to come past my window. So I'm just going to kind of mark that off. I could just leave it laying on top of there for a guide, but we're just going to mark it off. And I'll just flip it over so I don't have to deal with the stuff on there. I might could erase it if I need to. Sometimes I need to, sometimes I don't. Where is my double stick tape? There it is. I think I can go with the quarter inch one. So I'll put this on so we can stick it to our card. Like I said, you just want to make sure that you're, you know, not where the opening is. That's all. I think I got room. Might have to use change to the other one. Ooh, I didn't leave myself a lot of room. I know I made that mark further out there, so we'll just put it on the edge. I can't see. You can kind of see. I think that's good. I don't really have to cover this whole thing, guys, but I'm just doing it because it's easier, honestly. Oops, too close. Oops, I went over. <laughs> You're doing good. Like I said, this just has to stick it to the card. I didn't put a Sharpie there, but I think I can find it. All right, let's make sure that it's not showing. Yeah, I think we're okay. So make sure that's on there good before I peel it. And make sure that I know which side. I've got the chalk pencil there still, and I've got the decoration. So you know you want to go on that side. So why do I have my lid off of this? Because I forgot. Put your lid back on. All right. Um, tool. Where's my tool? There it is. Can also use a little um might be easier to use my little pointy tool. Where's my pointy tool? Pointy tool. One oops, try not to touch it. Come on. Two. I'm a counter. It's because I'm OCD. I'll count. I totally glued that edge down. <laughs> and I count everything. When I'm doing things, I count. When I'm walking up the stairs, I count. When I'm doing just walking anywhere, I count. <laughs> All right. Try to line this up. Make sure it's clean, kinda. I mean, it's kinda clean. It's not perfect, but it'll be all right. So I just wanted to not have my marks in there. I think they're on this side, but I'm not 100% sure. And I don't want tape showing. I think that's about right. All right. Let's see, are they on that side? I'm just going to show y'all. You can clean them off. Just don't get it on your card. Probably should do it before. But if they're on that side, you can wipe them off with a little alcohol pad. Even a, a Q-tip dipped in alcohol would work too. I'm not going to do that one because it's too close to the card. I don't want to risk getting my card wet. All right. Let that dry. Dry. You can see if it's wet because it's shiny. I could also wipe it with something. All right, there. We got our ass tight. I'm just going to dry that off real quick if I can find my little cloth. 
I just want to make sure it's dry. All right. So there's that part. Set that aside. We're going to come back to this guy. So we're just going to line them up and make sure that everything still is in the right spot. It should be. Yep, it looks good. So we want our transfer to be in there. So I've got that chalk pencil line. Should be the right spot. And if it's a little off, it's not the end of the world, guys. Where is my transfer? <laughs> I lost it. How'd you lose your transfer? Did I cover it? I am losing my mind, guys. Where, oh, where, oh, where did I put my transfer? Hello? Transfer. Up oh, there it is. I buried it. Okay, Doc. Now we're going to put this on. Make sure everything's clean. Okay. We're going to line this up. So I'm going to look from the top. Try and get it in the right spot because I only get one shot at this. Try not to let it touch until you are ready. The base is very important, so we're going to try to get that close. And then the top. That's a little bit tricky. I think we're good. Got it. All right, there we go. Once it touches, that's it. So if you're real worried about it, you could always um, put it on a little bit bigger piece and then you could kind of finagle it, you know? <laughs> you know, don't cut your piece out first. Usually I can get it in the right spot. Usually. And like I said, if it's really bad, you can always just put a little bit of acrylic paint on the edge so that you can't tell. So rub this down. What time is it? I knew I couldn't do it in an hour, guys. I can't do anything in an hour. <laughs> I don't know why. This is why I don't get to do the things very often with other people because I can't stay under an hour. I'm just too slow. Either I take on too big a projects or I'm too slow. I don't know which. One or the other. All right, let's see how that looks. I think I'll start with this side. Make sure we're looking through as we go. If there's a lot of resistance, it's probably not on. It usually doesn't give hardly any resistance when it's on. Okay, that's okay. That's okay. Making sure. Pulling as I go. Just looking through, making sure it's clear. It has to be clear. Good so far. I think we should be good. Okay, there we go. All clear. And just give it a little burnish. There we go. Now it's going to be like that. Okay. Looking good so far. All right, let's get our foam tape. All right, so we got to put our foam tape on. So I've already got mine cut, like I said. So I've got little strips cut of foam tape. And the foam tape is going to go... seen it done either way. You can do it on the top or you could do it on the bottom. I think I'm going to do it on the top. The reason being is I can see exactly where that edge is if I do it on this piece versus this piece. It's It really doesn't matter per se, um, but I, I think it is a little bit better to do it on this piece. So you want your foam to be where you want your well. 
okay? And your well is what's holding your shaker bits. So you have to completely seal off your well. So like I said, this is double stick. It's got, the one side has that sticker um, backing stuff that I put on there, and the other side has the backing that it came with. All right, I am gonna peel off the, I think I'm gonna put the backing that it came with down because this is a little bit stiffer, mine is, and it'll just be easier for me to pat that on the top for whatever reason. So I don't peel the whole thing at once because it's just too hard to handle. Um, so I just peel a little bit, figure out where you wanna start. It really isn't a huge deal, start wherever you want. I think I tend to start at the bottom. I'm gonna stay inside just a little bit, like, I don't know, a eighth of an inch, we'll say. Okay, so I don't want my, um, my little bits to, you know, get lost. <laughs> you, you don't want your little bits floating way down here because if you, if you start way down here, you've got that gap and all your little bits are going to fall down there and then you're not never going to see them. So you got to start high enough that that doesn't happen. That should make sense, right? So you just kind of work it around the corner. It's fairly flexible. I don't know about other ones. I have a feeling you got to peel this too, cause it won't be flexible. Um, they might work even better than this type. This isn't necessarily made for this. It, it works. But just go around your corners. You got to kind of keep the sticker backing on there so you can push it down. So that's why I don't peel it all at once because then I can, I have something to work with. Honestly, I'd, I wouldn't even peel off the top now except I can't get it to turn without peeling off the top. I would just leave it until the end. But like I said, it's kind of stiff, so it keeps me from making the corner. So I'm trying not to go too far out. But as long as you can touch it enough to um, get it to stick where you want it to stick. Okay, almost there. And we'll just add another piece. Okay. And like I said, I could leave some of this on there just so I'm not sticking to everything. Um, because it, it will, you'll keep grabbing it. But it's fine. All right, so next piece. So this piece only has to be from there to there. Just make it easier to work with. I'm gonna kinda cut it. I just have to butt it up against there because you don't want any holes. So make sure that you butt it up against there, your other piece of foam. Because if there's a hole, all of your little bits will go through the hole for sure. So just give it a little squish. Make sure it's touching that very well. I'm just gonna peel that whole piece. And for this part, I'm just gonna try to cut it right where it butts up there. You can't overlap it or it'll, you know, it'll stick out. So I'm gonna try to get as close as I can. I think that looks right. And if not, you can fill it in, but try to get it right the first time. Always fill in the gaps, guys. I peeled that off. I just want to make sure it's sticky. You can also, I cut this little piece here. I'm just going to shove it in there, just to be sure. Might as well stick it in there. All right, that should be good. We're all good, and that looks closed. Everything's closed. I'm just going to peel it, guys. The only issue is just touching it. You don't want to touch it until you're ready to place it where it goes. All right, so we've got our foam bits there, taped on. Now we need our shaker stuff. So I'm gonna put my shaker stuff in the middle here. So 
grab your shaker stuff. You could have it already. I mean, that's probably ideal, but I know I want some of those. I want the little pieces of candy. They're kind of bright for this one. I don't think I'll do this. I think I'll do, I'll do some snowflakes. A couple of these. Not too many, just a couple. A few snowflakes. Oh, I should have left that sticker stuff. I'm not going to put any more in that. I like to put some powder on my inside there, but I've already peeled it. I might have to stick the peeling back about on there, guys. Powder helps. It helps your foam tape edges not be sticky. Um, but it's hard to do when you've got one that won't turn. Like mine are, mine are too stiff. They won't, they won't turn because I've put that backing on there myself. I bet the ones you buy are more flexible. Maybe y'all know. I don't know because I haven't bought one. What else can I put on here? I've got some sequins. Do sequins look good? I don't know. Maybe. They're shiny. They're opalescent sequins. Is that, is that how you say it? I think that's how you say it. They're very stuck together though. Let's see if I can separate them. Where's my little pointy tool? They're very um. A lot of them are doubles. Oh, maybe that's single. I can't tell. All right, we're going to put a few of these in there. I'm not sure how I feel about them. They're, I like them better to be round side down because they've got like a, a little bit of a um, curve. And sometimes they're just too tall and they get stuck on the edges, but... They are kind of pretty. We're only going to put a few. Well, maybe just that many. I won't want too many of them. I don't like them. They're kind of, eh. I do want my glass beads, though, for sure. I don't think I need anything else. That should be enough. Definitely want some glass beads. Um, you could put a glitter. Just It has to be a little harder glitter. Like, um... A coarse glitter. I was trying to find the word coarse glitter. Try to make sure all these stay in the middle. <laughs> we'll just move them back. All right. I feel like it needs a little more white. It doesn't have to, but I'm going to put some more of these. I like these. They're so, they're just nice and noisy and they're clear. All right. I had some snow stuff that I was using. I don't remember what I was using. I thought I had a snow thing. Is it in my other one? Maybe I didn't. No, I have this huge thing of glass beads. I think these are bigger. Yeah, these are 12 though, so they're slightly bigger. I only bought it because it's on clearance for $2, so I like, might as well buy it. I don't have a snow that I really trust. I know this kind of works, but it's also kind of staticky. Sometimes you can put the non-static stuff. Yeah, those are white sequins. They're kind of white. They're they're opalescent white. That's the only sequins I have. It's this pack. I have a couple of really big snowflakes, but I think that's too big. I think they'll take up too much of the package. I don't know. I'm debating on... I don't think I want to... I can't remember if I put the snow last time. Do y'all remember? I don't think I have my Christmas one sitting here. I pulled it out yesterday to look at it because I still have it because I never sold that journal. I don't know where it is. I thought I had it, but I don't see it. I don't know. But my brain says I used something for snow. I just don't know if it was this. If it's too um, staticky. I guess I could put a little. <laughs> We're just going to put a teeny bit. Just in case it's too staticky, it'll make a mess and it won't look good. I could put this no static powder, but sometimes it just messes up the acetate and it looks horrible. So 
We're just going to put a teeny bit of this snow. Chances are it's just going to get buried on the edge anyway. We'll just go with that. I think it's enough. It doesn't have to have a ton. Yours has snowflakes in it, like like these little snowflakes I just did. I think they're Dollar Tree ones. I don't even know. It doesn't get too staticky, Angela? I can't remember. It's been a while. Anyway, we're, we'll say no. I think that's enough. So, like I said, I like to put the powder on the edge. So, I'm just going to stick this on here. Because I don't want them sticking to my edge. I don't have a, a brush on them. This is embossing powder release stuff. I'm just going to use a little fine brush. I'll just get a little on my brush and just kind of put just a little bit. It kind of it helps a little. I might actually just be able to do it without getting it on the. I don't want to get it on the foam where the foam won't stick. So I'm just putting on this inside edge just enough to where if there's any sticky on the bottom, it will help my sequins not to get stuck in there. It's not an absolute necessary thing, but it, it does help. I see a lot of the girls that do shakers do that. A lot of the card makers. So it is helpful. So we're just going to put a little bit on there. This is just Inka Dinky Dew embossing powder. Any powder would probably work on this, I guess. I've used makeup powder. This is a light touch colorless makeup powder from back when I worked at the haunted house. <laughs> All right. We do need more foam. I didn't want to do that then because it's just, I can't handle it. So here's the deal. When I put this on top, on the bottom, you've got all these areas that'll get squishy. Okay. So you need foam. You could use this foam or let's see if I have squares. I don't know if I have squares that are thick enough. I have black ones. I don't think I have white ones. Isn't that what I said last time? I feel like that's what I said last time. My white ones are thin. They're not they're not even a sixteenth of an inch. I don't know what the size is, but my black ones are the right thickness. But I don't want to use black, so we're just going to use my, my foam tape. See inside, I don't have the right size of those. So what you want to do is just fill in as much as you want to fill in um, so that your card lays flat. Otherwise, your card will squish and be bad. So we're just going to fill this in. I don't go too close to, I'm going to go like a, I don't know, a little, a little underneath of an inch, I think, from the edge, because it does show on the edge, and I don't really like it to show on the edge. It's not a huge deal, but I'm just going to move that out of the way before I can get beads everywhere. I should have done this first, and I honestly kind of spaced it. So just, this is just to give our card structure. That's the only reason we are doing this. Where's my little scissors? It's a little tedious, guys. It's time consuming. It doesn't have to be solid, although I do see some people put it super solid. Um, doesn't have to be. Yeah, I'll stick to my other thing. But get fairly close to your edge. That way it doesn't give. I mean, you know what I mean. Y'all know what I mean. I think I got room here. Oops. I'm sticking before I want to stick. Stop it. Behave. I'm also trying not to pull it too much because it'll start curving on you. All right. I need some more. Some right there. About a big. I 
and then just a little here, here, here. I might put a, a solid one here just to kind of give some stability there. So like I said, this is just about stability. You put as much as you want to where you feel like it's, you know, stable enough. Put a little piece there. Come on, let go. Sticking everywhere. And I went the wrong direction. Let's go this direction. We've got kind of a diagonal there. be enough I think yeah I think that's enough like I said, it's just stability that's all we're doing Oops, I'm losing beads don't lose your beads get back in there Gotta make sure they're all inside our well stay where you go okay now we gotta peel this let me find my pointy tool I think we're stuck this side should be stuck because this is the side that came on there already. It's not the side I added, so usually it's already stuck fine. Come on. Isn't peeling this stuff, like, fun? <laughs> One of those um, tactile things that I think is fun. I don't know why. It's not sticking. It's like when I'm peeling the coochie paper off of my dyed paper. <laughs> Always think it's fun. I wonder if I should put one right there. I'm not sure. Maybe. Come on. Yeah, I probably should have. All right, let me grab just one little piece for right there, I think. Just a little one. So th that was the snow. Maybe I should put a little more then. I just don't want it to stick to everything. I could put a little of the powder on the window, but as long as it's not too visible, sometimes it just shows too much. I think it's okay. I'll put just a tiny bit there. All right, so I think we're good. I don't think I need any more there. So... I'm going to pull this over here. Now that comes the fun part, trying to stick it on there in the right spot. Make sure everything's pushed in that you want in there. Should I put more? I should put more. It looks too empty. we got to put a little bit more. We'll put some more snow. We'll be brave. <laughs> we'll be brave. Put a little more snow. Just a bit. Okay, now we're going to try to line it up. Fun, fun. All right, I'm going to try. You only get one shot at it. Another, another thing we only get one shot at. So I'm going to try, hopefully, line it up. Going very slow. Close. It's really close. Not 100% perfect, but it's close. 
I am okay with it. I'm just a little off right there. Make sure that your foam is stuck very well. And then you can shake. All right. Get some pieces sticking there. It's sticking a little bit. It's not terrible though. I think it'll be okay. Let me zoom back out. I'm too close. Y'all like it? So yeah, I'm a little bit off. Just a fraction right there. But I'm not going to trim it. I could trim it and make it perfect. But yeah, Because you can see the globe there. Just a tiny, tiny bit. But it's fine. So that's it. Do you see? Can you hear the glass beads? They're noisy. If I didn't have those glass beads in there, it wouldn't make that noise. You got to have the glass beads, really, to get that good noise. But it's cute. I like it. Make sure I'm in focus. I think we're good. All right, guys. That is our project. Hopefully, y'all like it. Have fun. Make yourself some. Grab yourself some glass beads and some stuff, sequins, whatever you want to put in there. Um, I think they're cute. They make good cards. I left a little more room down here than I was gonna. I almost think I should add some snowflakes on there, but it, it'll be a little tricky because it is a little blink there. It's not terrible. I might throw a couple on there. I'm going to see if I can do it. It's it's hard to do when it's already on the card. You can do it, but it's it's not as easy. Because you, you can't push as hard. Let's see. If I put one there, maybe a half of one there, one there. What do you think? We'll see if I can push it. I wonder if you take a fabric softener sheet over it, if that would help sticking. It might, Angela. I don't know. It might. I'm just going to put some down here because it's still a little plain. I'm going to see if I can get them to stick. The foam is not super solid there. Where's my half? But I feel like it needs just something. I'll put my half there. Let's see if I can do it. Like I said, because it's, it's bumpy, sometimes it'll work. We'll try. I might have enough foam in there to make it work. Let's see. Nope. This part. I have to be careful because it'll it'll make a indentation. I just have to get it to stick enough. I can peel the sucker off. Is it going to work? Gotcha. There. Not too bad. Can't tell if that one's stuck. I'm trying not to make it make an indentation. Oh, I lost the tip. Get on there. Yeah. Oh, I lost that tip too. The pointy tool isn't the best tool, but it does work. All right, there we go. Got it. There. Now it's not so blank. Not ideal to put them on after, guys. It's just, honestly, it's just not. So try to do them first. All right. That is our project. It's cute. It's noisy. It's the right amount of noise. All right. Y'all. If you need to purchase anything from Essential Stencil, use my code ARTROOM so you get your 10% off. Remember, they have brushes, transfers, stencils, all kinds of things, guys. So, y'all have a wonderful rest of the evening today, and I will see you guys on Wednesday. Okay, y'all take care. All right, bye-bye.